Hi, I'm Gillian. Welcome back. If you have watched a lot of my videos, you'll know that I got this MAC Warm 15 palette um, about 3-4 months ago and I used it loads every day, lots of different looks and then I went to IMATS and I got new stuff, I went to America and I got new stuff and I've been neglecting my little MAC palette. So I decided to show it some love today along with um, blue brown, yeah, blue brown pigment and come up with this. I hope you like it. Please subscribe if you do and keep watching. Thank you. I'm starting with the colour up in the top left and I'm putting this right under my eyebrow to highlight. This colour is called Hey. Same colour with a rounder brush and I'm putting it on the inside corner. I'm going to come down to Brulee, which is another popular colour, and put that under the highlight colour there. The light's just completely changed coming in the window there, so if you're wondering why it suddenly got dark. And I have a fluffy blending brush. I'm going into the colour Saddle over at this side, really lightly, tapping off the excess. And I'm going to sweep that along the crease. I'm just repeating that until I get it as dark as I want it, but it's going to look really soft because of the brush that I'm using. The edges will look really soft. I want to put a little bit of the darkest colour here, which is called Dance in the Dark, just on the outside of my eyelid. I'm giving it a blend. I want a light colour for the inside so I'm going to go for the colour right in the middle which is Honey Lust and get some of this on a flat brush and just put it on the inside corner. Well not the corner, a little bit in from the corner. Putting the palette to the side and now I'm going to the little pigment that I want to use which is called Blue Brown. Um, this is a little baby one, it came in one of those Christmas sets where you get five little pigments. I'm putting my finger over the top and then giving it a bit of a shake just to get some under my finger. And then I'm putting that over my eyelid. It really is such a rich colour. And you can see the bluey green coming through the brown, it's lovely. There's only a tiny little bit getting onto my finger each time, but that's fine because I don't want to overdo it and have loads of fallout. I want to just keep it under control, but I'm building it up. This is one of those colours that you can wear actually by itself, just put it on, blend really well. And it looks like you have more than one colour on. I've done that before. This is quite a neat way to work with the pigment without getting loads of fallout that you do get when you use brushes. Right your finger. Now some of that is transferred from my lids up onto the colour in the crease. So I am just taking a brush to blend it a bit. I don't, I don't want to touch what's on the lids. Now I kind of want to put some green with that to, to try and bring out the green that's in the pigment. So this is a MAC pencil, it's a PowerPoint pencil in Tilo. I'm going to use that on the outside of the lower lash line. I'm hoping this won't look too bright with it. This is a Pearl Glide um, liner pencil and the colour is Undercurrent. I'm just going to put that
I'm going to use Black Track Fluid Line to put a really fine line along the top lash line. I don't know why I said the word line three times there. For mascara, I'm going to use my little Zoom Fast Black Lash Sample. I'm going to go quite bright in the lips. This is not as bright as it looks in the um, thing, in the packet or tube, whatever. It's the Maybelline Colour Elixir, Sensational Colour Elixir. Um, this colour is Fuchsia Flourish. And it comes in a little wand like that. Well, it's a little bit brighter on than I thought it would be, but that's okay. That's me done. Um, Hope you can see the blue brown effect of the eye pigment. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.